Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body. I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame in Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. So this is some of the worldwide stuff we've been waiting for, right? I actually have to admit, um, on one level, I'm a little bit excited because I have been expecting some other Ascension stuff for a while. It makes it challenging, though, to tell what is the difference between Ascension and just some of the other things that are happening, such as illnesses, etc. So many things have come into our awareness over the past couple days, and you want to ask yourself, when is your real life going to start? Why does this seem very different for different people? And why do you have, you know, feelings of grief coming up? This is happening as we approach a new moon. And this new moon is very significant because this is going to clean a lot of things out from the cosmic past that need to be cleaned out. But what do you do when it's at the physical level and you are feeling it? You're feeling um, waves or you have a menstrual cycle that's kicking in in weird ways. You're having strange body sensations. You come to the person who is the twin flame body expert. Yes, twin flame body. There's a brand new template that you need to embody. Are you even working on priming the parts of you to experience sacred sexuality? Are you having heart orgasms or are you kind of feeling like you're floundering around in this weird psychological aspect of some of this stuff? What are you choosing? Are you choosing to kind of move along here and thrive? Do you want your real life? Do you want things to um, culminate for you? Well, there's some good news because there is a huge time compression. Time compression means that you're going to be pushed. Time compression means you should sleep. Sleep is though you're on a ship and you're going to wake up in the proper destination. What about some of the separation? What is this serving the purpose of? Well, it does serve the purpose to easily pull out some things so that you're not up and close and personal and having to do some of this, you know, essentially all over each other. Some people have been doing certain things for a while, but if you are feeling emotions that are along the lines of bereavement, a sense of loss, physical aches, your menstrual cycle has um, gone wonky, even if you're older or you're younger, you feel vaguely depressed. There's some vague odd sense that somehow you're in trouble and you didn't do it right or that Somehow you literally miss the boat. It's time to get educated on how all of these things are happening, but not only that, to get to the good stuff. Because using my modality, you will be able to not only um, purge things a lot easier, you will begin to know when and where and how to let go because it does happen in cycles. And this is just the beginning of many cycles to help people do that on a larger scale. Some people have been accelerated forward. Those tend to be the people that will be working with people. And if you're, you know, not kind of in that group, you may be in some of the next waves. What you decide now in this time frame actually has a lot of bearing on how things will go for you for the rest of the year. A lot of people wonder, are we going to go back to a new normal and do things? No, you're going to be in a new rhythm, but it's the rhythm that you create. It's the, um, it is at a new level. You have to get yourself there. You have to climb up. You have to hoist yourself up, bounce up, whatever. I will tell you this, you have to fly up. If you are not working on getting the parts of your wings open, adjusting your heart, adjusting some of your metabolism, 
you'll be a little bit lost in this. Don't be lost. Don't be lost in space. Be one of the people that is proactively doing it the way that you initially felt something to begin with, with your body. I am a master teacher of the Twin Flame Body, which is your set of complementary, subtle bodies that hold you two together. That's the simplest way I can say it. The exact match, which is why we call it a twin. And if you're getting confused out there with a lot of the muddling up of, you know, uh, terminology, if this is new to you, please don't be deterred, but please do not give in to the fears. Don't give in to fears that you feel through your body, which make you feel like you might have missed the boat. Don't give in to the fears that you see out there that this means this and this means that. Stick to your personal level and focus on where is your life? What is, what is your real life? Should you have a real life? Or should you perpetually be stuck in the victimhood that a lot of misinformation keeps people in? Honestly, I've never seen anything like this where people seem to perpetuate this idea that this has to be being a martyr or a victim all the time. That is not how it is, and that's not love. So please know there's some really good ways to do this that are fairly easy. And I'm a person that's all about, let's make it as easy as possible. Let's stop letting the mind overcomplicate it. Some of the things that you don't have to do are give up, let go of your belief in love, to not believe that somehow this isn't supposed to be romantic. Aren't you feeling it that some of this is supposed to be like elevating the world, not just for a mission, but as the result of the love you feel? Not just someone handed you a bucket of love and told you to go paint it around the town and then you exhausted yourself. That's not what this is. So learn how to dump out that bucket of grief, sadness, whatever it is. As they say, salt water fixes everything, whether it's the ocean or tears. That's what I believe. You may need to cry. You may have not cried in a long time. You may have been crying for a while. Do you want it to shift? Because this shift, this is it. This is go time. We're in it now. This is ascension. This is the ascension and receiving your brand new Twin Flame Body template like never before because it's brand new. And this is only the start of it. And it's only the start of people starting to really feel the benefits of it, the health and well-being. That sounds hokey, doesn't it? Well, let me tell you, how would you like to be older and have your youthful vitality back? How would you like to have a cease in some of the chronic conditions you have? How would you like to not have to feel that level of grief because your body just can't hold all of that? If you're feeling it from the collective and you're paying attention to the collective too much, that's going to show up. So we're all getting squeezed. We're all a part of this. But it's in the how that you do it that you're able to elevate yourself above it. You have to engage your body. You have to have a connection. You have to engage the subtle body parts of you. What do you want for your life? Do you know where this is going? Not only do I know where this is going, I know where it's not going for sure. It's not going into the same old patterns. It's not going into some of the things that have, uh, you know, put like a wrench into the works. The gears of our society have ground to a halt because it is unsustainable the way it is. And it's not just about using plastic. It's not just about not eating wheat. It's about the human condition. It's about people and what people need and what gets people through things and how people are able to feel loved and supported. 
It's about getting people to be fully present and not down in a hole somewhere. I think we can all agree that we've seen the rates of certain things like suicide rates going up and up. We've seen violence going up and up. And yet there are some things that are not happening. We're not in a world war. We're sort of in a team up here to be able to get rid of things. But how do you translate this for yourself at the human level? Well, number one, you have to put yourself as a priority. You have to focus on yourself and you have to focus on what do you want for your life? Not wonder and wait for a message that says, okay, today is May 1st. This is when your real life starts. Your real life started a couple years ago. Your real life actually started when you incarnated here so that you can conclude some of the karma, finish up with some of the soulmates, hand back and or receive whatever they have to give you, not worry about whatever you need to call it, and simply start making your way towards the exit. When you get through that door, you will know how different it feels. You have to break the barrier. So how does some of this play out? Well, you're going through a dimensional breakdown. That is what you are seeing here at work. Dimensional breakdown. Some of the things you're going to experience will be grief. You're saying goodbye. You are simply saying goodbye. And parts of it, yes, you will miss. I do. I miss, I cry, I go to the grocery store, I cry because I can feel it from the collective. But I'm not an empath, I'm a sympath. It doesn't stick with me. The minute the minute I sh it shifts and I know how to shift it, it's gone. I'm not carrying all that stuff for the collective. And neither should you. Each person has to process on their own. You can't hold things for people anymore. You can't hold their... Um, illnesses anymore. You may not want it around you. One of the things that this is going to show as we're all in this quarantine is like, it's going to show a lot of what you don't want. It's going to show up things in houses, in households, with families, with children. And yes, there are children, twin flames who are ascending. Yes, there are. Yes, there are older people who are also twin flames and this is where it's getting tricky because depending on the physical condition of the person, some of this is taking more of a toll than they may realize. You have to ask yourself something very simple. Are you here to be in love? And if the answer is yes, good. Because yes, that's what you're here for. And... I'm going to go out on a limb here and say the Twin Flame Body Template, one of the requirements is that you link it up and that you're able to connect in such a way that you're each accountable for each other. Not just one person. This is not one-sided. This is a two-way street. This is a two-way street that requires each person to be loving and accountable and committed to each other. And yes, the heart demands monogamy. That's going to be a news flash to some people who think that they can interchange things or collect people all over again or people who have a harem mentality. Those ways of living are going bye-bye. Say goodbye because that's not how it is going forward. No matter what people think they're going to do. And a lot of people do collect people because they've needed to bring in all kinds of people's energies just to sustain them. Guess what? Those people need themselves back to them. That's what this time crunch is about. Get yourself back to yourself. Get your real life. If you don't know what that is or how it's supposed to look, I have several ways to help you. I have a great book that I just did on relationships, which is addressing many aspects um, that pertain to how you live your life, how you want your life to be, how you need to transform not just yourself, 
but the things around you and to do it in the highest way possible for the highest and best good of everybody concerned. How would you properly conclude some old karmic relationships? How would you still keep living with a karmic? That's going to be tricky as we go forward because there ain't no karma under there to sustain it. That's going to continue draining and draining and draining away things unless you know how to do it properly. Because even that, that might be temporary. Even if you tell yourself in this moment, well, we're just going to stick with this. I guess it wasn't for this life. It's just not yet, okay? There's a lot of things that you could apply the yet word to. Running and chasing. Are you tired of running and chasing? Are people tired of chasing the elusive ghost? Sure they are. It's exhausting. It's grieving. You are a grieved person sometimes. And I wouldn't wish that on you. So why are you doing it? Are you still here to be a victim? Or are you ready to not just claim your power, but let's get your real life going? If you are not having higher level experiences and feeling even small shifts, it's time to do it the body way. You cannot do these with your mind. Your Divine connections are through the body, not the small bit of ego mind that we tend to use. We use divine connections, not mental energy. You need heart to be able to move the mountains. That's how it's always done. So, I hope that um, you are feeling some of this, that not the grief part, but that you want your real life back. You want your real life. And if you are curious, if you want to know more, check the links down below. Have a session with me. If you have been trying other things and you feel like you're beating ahead, your head against the wall, if you've been trying things like numerology, or birth chart that might tell you a few things but where you're really going to get the answers is when it's infused right into you and that's a body thing time to get the body going twin flame body is the way it is the way and it does bring results so that you feel better you feel balanced you ditch some of the lower level stuff and you feel that you are shifting. So thanks so much for watching. I will be back with more new moon, new moon energy. It's going to be a deep dive for a lot of people. Thank you. Bye.